Hello, hello, everyone. This is Ariel. Thank you so much for tuning in to Healing Body, Mind, and Soul with Ariel. I am here today with Shannon, and she's so wonderful. Let me just preface this with saying you are in for a treat. She is a self self-proclaimed essential oil diva. I absolutely love her. She knows absolutely everything about essential oils. She has a huge heart and I love the way that she presents. So naturally she is on the A list to come here and be on the podcast. So today she's going to share with us what she does and a couple super tips. So with that said, Shannon, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, Ariel. I'm absolutely honored and excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Um, a little bit uh, about myself. I started working with natural solutions, mostly herbs and tinctures and that sort of stuff about, I want to say, 20 years ago. My husband is amazing. We've been together for just about that long. And when we really started talking about starting a family, I knew he had some serious health concerns in the form of, well, not so much health concerns, but sensitivities to pharmaceuticals and a lot of stuff that is available over the counter. So luckily he has a very, he's a very healthy person. He has a very strong immune system. So I really knew that I needed to step into a place of proactive care and that we really needed to go as natural as possible. So I started with herbalism. I did get, um, I did get certified in herbalism way back in the day and I worked with essential oils on and off. I had a problem with the fact that um, you know, when you, when you supply essential oils from different suppliers like this, this lavender is amazing, but their lemon really stinks. Right. And then this, um, this, this, uh, supplier on this side has great lemon. Um, you know, but you know, they're clearly sage. I don't know what that is, but it's not clearly sage. Right. Or, you know what I mean? So there's just this inconsistency across the board. So I kind of gave up on essential oils. I actually quit using them altogether. Um, which is int right. I have a very interesting, uh, you know, background with oils. Uh, it's been a bumpy road for oil essential oils and myself. Wow. Tell me more about that. I love the bumpy road stories. <laughs> well, I think, you know, we learn that way, right? The bumpy road gives us the most, the, the deepest, uh, uh, lessons. So, um, in my deeper herbalism training, I actually went to a lot of symposiums on natural wellness and uh, health and herbalism and that sort of stuff. I met this great lady. We became fast and furious friends and she had 10 acres up in Washington and she distilled her own oils. So I actually purchased them from her. She only, pur she only really distilled like five, lavender, mint, she did yarrow um, and a few others. And I really mostly because I was just so wary, I, I pretty much only bought, purchased those three from her. So those are the only oils I used for a while. And I was lulled into this beautiful place because I knew that she was distilling them. I was getting them straight from this, her beautiful or beyond organic fields. And one day I called to kind of reorder and she's like, oh, sweetie, um, I'm pregnant with twins. And between my new husband's children, my children and our twins, we have eight and I'm super busy and I can't sell oils anymore. <laughs> so I quit completely, you know, so I was really bummed that I couldn't get the, those oils. And I, I walked in and I pulled a lavender off of a shelf uh, in a very predominant large chain whole um, wellness uh, store that we all know of. We've probably all been to. And I immediately that night used it for my daughter and she ended up with a chemical burn from it. Oh my God. And here you are trying to, to be all natural and you hurt your daughter and your daughter got hurt. Not you hurt. I'm sorry. Bad languaging, but well, we were both yeah. hurt. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, you know. oh, oh, mom. We were both oh, hurt. Mom, I got that. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was one of the worst nights of my life. Luckily it wasn't extreme. It was just very uncomfortable. Her skin was bright pink. She did oh. have tears in her eyes. She was very upset. And I put like, like 10 drops 
in a, a bathtub full of water. So, isn't that ironic? Because isn't lavender supposed to be for burns? Like it's from, amazing like for burns. It, yes, yes. When, it, you it, it, deal, <laughs> when you get the real deal, it is amazing for burns. So I. I, I had discovered that I loved essential oils. I loved that they were concentrated. I loved that they worked really fast, but I knew from that experience that I needed to do a lot of research. So I actually yeah. shelved essential oils for a second time. And I talked to my girlfriend and we talked quality and this, that, and the other. Um, herbalism is a little different than aromatherapy, right? Aromatherapists, they know this stuff. And uh, uh, herbalists, we touched on essential oils, but I didn't know uh, all that I know now for sure. Um, so I really did tons and tons of research. I compared apples to apples and I compared oranges to apples and oranges to oranges. And for six months, I spent over $2,000 collecting different essential oils from different, uh, companies. Uh, some of them were network marketing companies. Some of them were not network marketing companies. I didn't care. I wanted the best, the purest oils that had a consistency that I could trust that I did not have to ever experience what I experienced that night because both my daughter and my husband's health depended on the natural medicines I was bringing into the home. Wow. So yeah. I discovered doTERRA and I have been with them. Uh, I put them through the ringer like I did everyone else and they just kept coming up on top. Um, I cannot say how absolutely excited I was and still am now that I'm talking about it. I think we forget how excited we get that um, when I order my, when I order stuff and when I use it, they're concentrated, they work fast, they're safe. And it has now become my passion to in empower a healer in every single home through natural wellness. And it's very easily done with essential oils as long as you have the right, number one, the right tools and the right oils to use. There are a few other companies out there that come really close to doTERRA. I chose doTERRA for a few personal, um, uh, just near and dear to my heart reasons. And I'll share those with, them, with you in a moment. But people don't know we have choices in the way that we clean our homes. People don't know that we have choices in what we use for um, the occasional cough or sniffle. People don't know that we have choices when the throat is dry and un inflamed and, and itchy, it, when the stomach isn't working properly, or maybe when the emotions are out of balance. We had essential oils can really serve all of those needs, which is amazing because as a mom, I want a stone. I, you know, I want to kill two birds with stone, one stone. And if I can tell, kill five birds with one stone, I, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. And they can definitely do that. So that's, so my passion now, like I said, is really to, um, is really to empower the, the, those people um, that want natural solutions that, that, that are safe, that are affordable, and that they can trust. And with a little bit of shifting of our, of our uh, daily uh, habits and a, and a little bit of support, it's amazing the toxins you can get out of your house, uh, the toxins you can get out of your body, the toxins you can get out of your emotional state uh, through essential oils. So it re they really do serve your purpose, right? That, that body, mind, and spirit place. Yes. And I got to say, I actually was on, um, I, I did your video training. Remember with Heidi? Um, Heidi has also been one of our guests. Our listeners may um, know, but I loved it so much. I loved the house cleaning um, section. It blew my <laughs> mind, right? I, and I'm a practitioner, but the house cleaning section was so amazing and so and so great. Um, it it um, it was so empowering when I when I think of all the. Um, the uses and 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 it went even deeper. I loved I loved it. I know that's such a funny thing to get. It, it surprised me, and I think that was my favorite one of your series was the house. I know it's crazy, but um, it is, it totally. Is. <laughs> I tell people I have this funny little saying. I tell people my my least sexy class is my mo one of my most passionate, and it is non toxic cleaning. <laughs> And they're like, what? That is <laughs> not the sexy. There's nothing sexy about cleaning. I know. 
I know? actually totally agree. That was my favorite one. That was my favorite one. And it made me so excited. And, and yeah, when you think of all the possibilities, and I think what's so exciting and what I love, um, about the work that you do is I, you know, I love um, the intentionality, of course, in using the oils, which makes them even more powerful, in my opinion. Um, but having this use, this multi-use all around the house, you know, I'm a practitioner, so I usually think about the therapeutic use and and where um you know which acupoint we need to um address and and these and these kind of things you know so the housekeeping the housekeeping one really was great for me anyway well, sorry that's such a that's such a rabbit hole but i want my listeners to know because if you offer that class again i i gotta tell you everybody should listen to that one it's really great well and i'll tell you just to sweeten that um before we move on what we don't, as, as healers, we don't necessarily give a lot of attention to what we're cleaning our, our homes with. Maybe we're a, a little um, aware of the fact that we don't want to be using toxins and that sort of stuff, right, for the environment. But picture this. You've come home from a bit of a stressful day and you know you have to have, you know you need to get the house clean. Maybe companies coming over, this, that, and the other you can reach for some water some vinegar and a few drops of geranium which are it was the one of the heart healers and lavender a little bit of lemongrass for freshness and clarity you can clean your home with that not only are you actually cleaning the bacteria and, you know you're you're actually disinfecting antibacterial antimicrobial all that sort of stuff so you're doing that job but you're aligning your emotional and vibrational state for either yourself or your company, all of the above. So it is a beautiful rabbit hole when you really think of being intentional about the energy we want to create in our homes as sacred space. So absolutely. Yeah. I think it's a big subject. It's fun. Of course, my, my listeners can't, my listeners can't see it, but I am giving you the biggest thumbs up there. I absolutely love that. Well, well, my dear. So I know you're, you, you know, you're an essential diva on the move, but can you tell us what's next for you? What are you up to in 2019? In 2019, I have, uh, I'm going to be online a whole lot more. Um, my Instagram page is up and running, uh, essentially wild, the word or the letter N as in no, or, um, I want it. What's a juicy N word? <laughs> a juicy N word? Other than no, right? Like, <laughs> no, nothing. Yeah. Are there any good, like, there's gotta be know. a good juicy word. Nectarine. Nectarine. <laughs> yes. Okay. That's totally juicy. So wild N as in nectarine and wise. Um, so I'm there and I'm on Facebook. I want to do uh, a webinar that's going to be open to everybody. I have a uh, mastering the metabolism, metabolism webinar coming up. I have a new year, new you webinar coming up. Um, we will be do, we will be, I will be talking about non-toxic cleaning on the very, on the, you know, specifically in that very physical world, right? That physical manifestation as far as making sure that we want clean counters, this, that, and the other. So I'm going to be doing a lot of webinars that you and your listeners are all welcome to. And then I have, uh, my husband's been working on a beautiful website and it's also essentially wild in wise, uh, at dot net. So awesome. that's amazing. And what is your, do you have, do you make intentions or do you have a word for 2019 just for yourself? I'm just curious. I do. So this year is trust Ooh. and really trusting in the journey. Uh, 2018 kind of beat me up and chewed me up a little bit. <laughs> you weren't the only one. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I've been hearing that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> was uh was a revealer for sure it definitely wow. ripped away a lot of um, band-aids yeah a lot, a lot of, of stuff yeah <laughs> yeah a lot of stuff we're, we're definitely feeling exposed coming into 2019 so uh so 2019 is my is my my year to trust to trust the journey to trust the universe to trust the divine 
um, and to trust my path and to trust others. So that's, that's my big one this, this year, uh, because I don't want to lose that peace. I don't want to lose that trust. Amazing. I'm going to really embody it this year. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with us today, Shannon. It has been an absolute joy. I think joy is my, joy is my word, um, is my word for um, 2019. And I really want to bring in success and joy for all of us healers, this beautiful um, thing. So I'm excited about this podcast, getting all of this going. And I just want to thank our listeners for tuning in and make sure to stick around after the interviews. We do have a daily reflection with Ariel. So until next time, everybody, happy healing.